So type thermocac in Google, you have this result and choose this free educational package. Yes, download the educational package, click on this. Here you can give your details and say I agree and then go for the download page. Username is academic, password is this entire stuff. Copy it and go to download the package. So username is academic, password is that entire thing. Now download academic version for your Windows version. Take a while, 500 MB almost. Oh, is okay. Okay. So this is Thermocalc uh, graphical user interface. So here you have a choice to move to console mode. So in graphical user interface, uh, as I just showed you, there is a simple way to open a new project, let's say, file, new project. Let me discard the changes in this. So now we have this project window, my project window. There we have multiple choices. So face diagram we can click and uh, directly select the elements between which we want the face diagram. Let's say chromium and iron and then say perform tree it is nothing but this tree but the moment i click on that module uh, face diagram you will have all these three things coming here system definer equilibrium calculator and plot renderer okay so now we are in the system definer stage that is where this entire thing will come we have to define the system chromium and iron the most important thing to note here is this uh, fe demo iron demo database so this is the database in which we are selecting these elements you can also see that there are many elements which are not selectable now okay this carbon is selectable which is dark these are these are gray okay which means only those which are highlighted are available in this database okay so get, selecting the right database is critical if you know that your system has only these elements you have to choose the right database for that the same elements may be present in some other database also but uh, since we are uh, interested in steel let's say if we are interested in steel then we have to go for fe demo database this works when iron percentage is above 50 percent in your uh, alloy okay so this is the database to use for steels okay there can be copper based uh, database nickel based database aluminum based database for those alloys that is good you cannot take aluminum based database and uh, use it for an alloy which has more than 50 percent iron okay so now we have selected this perform tree once we give that it will automatically uh, do this equilibrium calculator step and plot render step we don't need to bother anything if we want to change something in this we can go for this okay but anyway we will not uh, tend to know more in this graphical mode we'll go to something called console mode that is where we will have many uh, inputs. We will be able to give many inputs there and many more complex diagrams will be able to generate there, not in this. This is just an example. Perform tree, if I give, it uh, does something, calculate something. And the diagram is here, okay? So this is uh, iron chromium diagram okay so this is sigma phase here you have two bccs it's a miscibility gap sort of thing and there is a fcc field here okay so this is the diagram you can label it right click on it add label and it will give what is the phase there uh, uh, this a1 a2 sort of things you might have not heard i don't know about shetty metallurgy people might have heard 
but this a1 a2 these are again uh, a notation to denote the fcc bcc kind of crystal structures only it's called structured beric notation some german name okay so that's it okay so now we'll go to this console mode uh, i will be little quick in teaching because anyway we are recording so we can uh, play it again and uh, come back to this okay so the moment i click there it comes to this kind of thing and here you can see console one uh, uh, if you have a license license information will be displayed here uh, now we have this demo license so here there are different modules each module will be able to perform some set of tasks uh, so this sys module is where we start things it, we will use this to launch to some other module first of all uh, but uh, the only action that we do here is to uh, set a log file log file uh, list, uh, saves all the syntaxes that we enter all the commands so that we can later use it for some other purpose if we want iron chromium diagram we can write something the moment we want iron uh, manganese diagram we can change all chromium into manganese in that saved file that's all okay Mm. so how to set that set log file this is the syntax okay then iron chromium enter that is the name file name uh, the file will be by default saved in one folder if you go to uh, tools and options you will be able to see which is that folder okay by default here you can see database directory model directory in this console mode, this is general in this console mode if you go here you can see we are in console mode in the default directory is given okay so that is in documents okay fine so the log file is set now next we can go to a, a module where we can define the system iron and chromium that is our system okay so uh, before going if if any 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 module if you want to know what are the possible things that can be done in that module just put a question mark and enter uh, it gives you all the different commands that are that are possible in this mo uh, module sys module in this set log file is something that we have already entered uh, like that there are many options okay you can check out each of them in a thermocalc user guide uh, and there is another thing called thermocalc example file uh, these two files you have to take and then practice okay that's what you will be doing for the next uh, a uh, few days okay so uh, question mark and enter you get all the commands so now from here we will go to uh, the uh, place where we have to define the system okay so we have to go to module this is what you have to type you don't need to type the entire thing go is fine okay go the module where we have to go is database module okay so that uh, name also you have to enter uh, there, there is a uh, different way to enter you can directly first type go to module this entire thing this underscore or hyphen doesn't matter capital letter small letter also doesn't matter okay enter so now it is asking for module name which module to go here you can enter data database, database module okay. okay you can write even database but uh, you know what i typed i typed go data initially that will do like that there are shortcuts but once you get some familiarization with this you will start using that shortcuts go data we will do this now we are uh, not in sys anymore it is in tdb okay tdb is that module uh, fe demo is the database by default this database is selected we just wanted to go to database module we did not tell that this is the database we want but by default fe demo is selected uh, so there are other databases uh, if you want to switch to, uh, to other database you can type switch and then the other database name so here you, i will put a question mark and enter these are the different things that are possible in this module here you can see something called switch database this can be used to go to some other database here so by default if fe demo is selected we are happy with that we want that only okay here we can define system okay so how to define system this is the uh, syntax for that define hyphen element okay or define hyphen system anything is okay so define hyphen system okay fe cl 
you can either type like this or you can simply type define system entire word define system enter here you can type elements fe cr you can I, I even type only fe and enter again define system enter again cr enter even that is possible but i prefer to use diff sys fe cr that's all okay so now we have defined the system it is once we enter it fe cr and enter automatically it displays this one fe cr defined if there is a problem in this let's say you want to enter fe and zirconium which is not there in the database it will say fe defined zirconium not defined okay in that case you have to be careful you have to come back to this okay so now we have defined the system we have to say get what it does is uh, this particular uh, uh, fe demo database has kip synergy descriptions for some five six elements and their combined phases and all okay we want only the fe cr related data to come to this console for this particular calculation so if you give get that's what happens data for fe cr is retrieved from the database okay if you don't give this it will not proceed okay so get it will also show what are the different uh, references from which this database is made especially the data relevant to fe and cr okay we can now calculate what is called the single point equilibrium means uh, we want in x axis uh, a composition in y axis temperature to do that there are multiple composition multiple temperatures entire combinations of composition and temperatures maybe with some interval can be selected in all those places equilibrium can be calculated from all that equilibrium data phase diagram can be generated that's what it does but only issue is the initial point from where it has to start scanning from where it has to go 10 10 10 10 increase or decrease whatever values uh, we call it grid points from where it has to start that we should tell okay so that is called single point equilibrium calculation so we will first do that some random composition and temperature uh, we will give okay so that is called uh, uh, doing a single point equilibrium to do a single point equilibrium we have to first set the condition what is the composition what is the temperature these are conditions so that we have to first to do how to do that you have to do it in a different module that module is called the poly 3 so go poly hyphen 3 okay some na weird name that is uh, um, uh, legacy of uh, uh, thermocat when it was started that poly 3 was used for some reason now it has more capability but still the same name is used okay so poly 3 enter now you are in poly module okay you can even type go minus 3 that's what I use generally. Here I will put a question mark and show you what are the different things possible. Okay, there are so many things that are possible in poly module. This is the main module. This is where equilibrium can be calculated. This is what this is where the mapping of the entire zone can be done. If it is a single uh, axis equilibrium, then this is where the stepping can be done. Okay, so if it is two axis, it is mapping. Single axis is stepping. All that can be done here. So first, let us set the condition. Set hyphen condition is here. Set condition so i will simply type s hyphen c this is what it means set condition pressure atmospheric pressure this is in pascal 1 e power 5 uh, 1 into 10 power 5 pascal that is atmospheric pressure this is like a ritual anyway we are not going to change it but we have to enter it okay so and the num uh, number of moles is 1 why it matters is because there are, you may be interested in certain property let's say enthalpy you may be interested in why you may want to heat the steel scrap in a steel melting shop and melt it first then you can recast it or modify the composition and things like that there you want to know how much of energy you have to supply if it is a electric furnace how much of heat electrical energy you have to supply so that that is converted into heat and the sample whatever workpiece is melted so if you want to know how much energy you have to give you have to know how much energy it is going to take yes. you first know the cp of the material so integration cp over room temperature to that temperature dt that you have to do then you will get the delta h okay and that is the amount of heat so so there you have to know what is the total number of moles of your material 
other because uh, enthalpy is extensive property for one mole it will give you some joule if it is 10 mole you have to multiply that with 10 so that is uh, an extensive quantity okay so means it is depending on the amount of material so you have to give what is the number of moles here but for our calculations we want to know what phases will be in equilibrium whether it is one mole of this composition or 10 mole of this composition only same phases will be in equilibrium okay so but anyway this is like a ritual now in a number of moles uh, we have to enter then temperature it's our choice we know if it is iron chromium diagram it has to be between melting points of iron and chromium somewhere near that so that is okay from room temperature to that is what we want so 1000 will be definitely within that range so we can enter 1000 it's just a single point initial equilibrium there is nothing too specific about it you just have to give a point in the diagram that's all so temperature you have set now we have to give composition temperature pressure we have to anyway give that's something that you already know composition we have to give because we need this composition number of moles why we have to give i already told <music>
simply for one axis we are going to define now x of chromium from 0 to 1 okay so this is the entire range in what increments it is giving 0 0.025 as default increment which is the entire interval divided by 40 0 to 1 divided by 40 so that is 0 0.025 we are okay with that increment if we are okay we can simply enter or we can change it 0 0.001 you can enter so that it goes for finer mesh okay so now i've just entered it that is about one axis variable set axis variable to temperature temperature we should enter in kelvin so room temperature 300 to chromium is something around 1600 something like that so i will enter 2000 1600 means degree celsius i'm saying so 2000 kelvin till that it will calculate so that you enter then say so it will ask for increment this increment is okay with us we can just enter okay there is a way to avoid this extra question anyway you are going to simply type enter only instead of uh, uh, doing this you can type two commas here if you do that then it will not ask this second question okay that's all so now we have entered two axes one axis uh, chromium should vary in the other axis temperature should vary so in this way uh, these two are given then you can type uh, map map enter see the temperature here temperature here compression here this is what it is now it is complete once this poly comes here it means it is completed it also shows how much time it took on okay now that uh, uh, entire map grid points are completed we can go and plot the diagram in a different module it may look like a headache uh, the moment you give map you may expect a diagram it will not come uh, but we have to go for the different module. We don't need to type go to the other module. We can simply type PO. Mm -hmm. Means that module name is post. This is where we have to uh, plot a diagram. Okay. So we don't need to type go post. You can simply type post. From poly, you don't need to give go. Okay. So once you come to post, here you can set a diagram axis. So now we want to define which is what axis. Initially, we said axis 1 and 2, that's all. We don't know what is what. Now, we will say x axis should be x of chromium. So, here x of chromium we cannot enter. There is a different uh, way in which we have to enter. Mole percent. We can even write weight percent. Mole fraction also. Anything is fine. So, mole percent space chromium, not x bracket chromium. Okay. Another thing to remember. Once you start practicing, it will come. Don't worry. So set diagram axis, one diagram axis, the x axis we have defined. Okay, enter. Now set diagram axis, y, temperature. In degree Celsius, if you want, we can type hyphen C. Otherwise, we can simply leave it as T. It will come in Kelvin. Okay. Y is this one. Enter. Then plot. So this SDA is set diagram axis. Okay. Plot. Now you got the diagram. Okay. So chromium mole percent is varying from 0 to 100. And here it is up to some 1700 something, it stops. Chromium melting point is much higher, possibly. We should have given 2200 something like that. But anyway, that's okay. So this is what you have to uh, plot. So now you can label it uh, whichever uh, way you want. I would simply call it alpha. So symbol is here. You can click this and you get this entire thing. Go to Greek and go to Alpha. Don't want BCCA2. Okay. 
okay so like that you can map in whichever you can label in whichever way you want so this is about the binary diagram making so here at the end you type this command also set interactive this is to reuse the file uh -huh. so this set interactive mode that is the command info so now i will go to this uh, document uh, folder FECR. This is the last block we have created. It is given in the extension TCM thermocalc macro by default. Uh, enter it. So here you will see all the things that you have entered. Okay. This set enter should be there. So now if it is the case, then we can go to thermocalc module. I will um, plus on this green plus. Click on that. So here you will get another console coming. This can there can be multiple consoles simultaneously used in thermocal. It's not an issue. Okay, here you can uh, type simply m. Enter. M means thermocal macro. Running a thermocal macro. Okay, so it uh, directly goes here. You know that this FECR is your file name. FECR that TCM has come here. Just say open. It will do all the things that we have done and give the diagram. Okay. If you have not entered that set interactive, right. what it will do is it will do the entire job, give the diagram, next second it will exit on its own. Uh, but you, if you want it to stay, you have to give set interactive so that it comes and stays again in the post module, it will ask us to interact. Okay, that's it. Uh, because of set enter, it stays here. Okay, that's it.